Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag, and we have a new video program for you guys called Unprogrammed. It's one of these, these things where we have an entire video set up where we just stand in front of a camera, we have a topic that we kind of want to talk about, and we got five minutes to figure out what we want to say. So this week on the Unprogrammed show with Church Mag, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about church tech and it being a ministry. I love the idea of church tech, but I feel like it goes without saying that Church tech is seen as this thing that happens in the back of the church. It's something that we really do not put the necessary credit where it's due. We expect them to adjust the knobs like we're magic, like we can predict the future. We're expected to instantly solve battery issues. We're instantly expected to be able to figure out all the magic that is technology. And yet I think that the IT part of it is great, but why don't we have church technology be a ministry, something that can reach out beyond ourselves, something that can be a gospel? I actually heard on a recent podcast with the Unseminary podcast how a janitor who can become a host for their church. And so a church invites a lot of different community members to come in to be able to use their church. And so now the janitor, instead of becoming a janitor that only does mopping or only does cleaning, which is great because really our ministries need that youth ministry, you know what I'm talking about. But really in this, this setup of being able to make something a ministry, the, the janitor is able to play host. And he can actually be someone that can witness to more people than the pastors themselves. Because now you're inviting church, the church to be the center of what the community is. And so you can have business meetings in there. You can have the school officials come in and set something up. You can have an entire choir be able to practice at your church. And that janitor gets to then be the gospel to people there. It doesn't necessarily have to be an evangelistic call every single time someone shows up, but they get to be the hands and feet of Jesus to these people and to be able to serve them in all these different ways. So why can't church technology be like this? Why can't we be the ones at the forefront saying pornography is wrong and here's how we can help you? Why is it that we can't be the people that sit with teenagers and say, your cell phones are important, but your family is even more so? Why can't we be the ones that are talking with the parents, the moms and dads who are always checking email and Facebook and saying, we get that you have stuff to do and you're busy, but why don't you teach your kids? We could make church technology a ministry, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say on this process. So leave your guys' comments below, and we'd love to hear what you guys have to say.